that little bitch You can fuck with me if you wanted to These expensive These weight loss resolutions are bad for you Mistake 1, not quantifying. Run more or lose weight sounds awesome, but you're honestly kidding yourself because these typical goals are not necessarily measurable. You can do better by saying I want to lose 7 kilograms by increasing my workouts to 4 times a week. Quantifying goals not only helps to track progress, but helps you come up with a great plan on how to achieve it. Mistake 2, too much too soon. Many people try to quit sugar, eat more veggies and ramp up their workout sessions all at once. The trouble is too many changes at the same time can be overwhelming, stressful and indecision can kill your progress overnight. If you commit to just a few actions per week, for example. Swap biscuit for fruit, you'll be far more likely to stay the course than if you overcommit and try to do too much too soon. Going out too hard with your new healthy regimen can be a mistake. Source supplied. Mistake 3, Outcome versus Process. Nearly every conversation about resolutions is focused on some type of outcome, not the journey. But here's the wake up call. New goals don't deliver new results. New lifestyles do. And a lifestyle is not an outcome, it is a process that's practiced daily. For this reason, all of your energy should go into building healthier lifestyle habits, not chasing better results. Mistake 4, All or Nothing Approach If you slip up and have too many wines with dinner, do you think you may as well have mutt dessert? Or if you oversleep and miss your Monday morning workout, do you figure you'll just forgo Wednesday session and start fresh next week? This all or nothing thinking may be the way to occasionally let yourself off the hook, however for some, quitting something just because it wasn't done perfectly is a self-defeating outlook that can send even the best of intentions into a tailspin. Mistake 5, Going Mainstream Many people pin their weight loss hopes to a popular fad, declaring themselves paleo, vegan, low carb or gluten free without considering their own preferences and lifestyles. If an eating plan requires consuming specialty foods that cost a small fortune or make you feel like you're missing out, it isn't likely to last. 
best you adopt an eating regimen that you enjoy, is flexible, suits your lifestyle and can afford. Kathleen Alm is a nutrition and exercise scientist and author of What's Eating You? At the Right Balance. Test your genes to find your best diet 316 The science of how food affects our genes or nutritional genomics is becoming more mainstream as more people have access to their genetic information. WSJ Sumathi Reddy joins lunch break to discuss how it works.